Hello everyone. Welcome to the ACE Training Hub. Today we are training on RT575 using Remote Connect software. It is a fairly new product to the market and the software is relatively new to all the system integrators. So we thought today it's worthwhile for us to have a quick live demonstration of how the software worked, how to set up the hardware and what will be the problems, challenges that the user can potentially face. It is quite a lucky that today we have an RTU in hand from Schneider and we'll be able to do this for everyone's benefit. And the engineer today is going to carry out the demonstration for you. everyone. Is, his name is Finn and I'm going to hand this to him for him to demonstrate how the RT575 works. Thank you. My name is Finn and I'm a mechatronic engineer currently studying in the ACE Training Hub. I came to the ACE Training Hub to, so I can help the clients, so I can help the company and so I can help myself grow as an engineer. So ACE Training Hub is a really inclusive environment. You can basically ask any of the engineers, any of the senior engineers and whenever you have a problem they'll always make time for you. By working at ACE, I've been given the opportunity to troubleshoot a 575 SCADA pack RTU and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Firstly, we had a problem initially writing to the RTU, which was subsequently solved by installing the 575 SCADA pack library, which for some reason was absent in the program. Um, another issue was that we were unable to connect through uh, DNP3 or despite being able to connect through USB. Initially we thought it was con a configuration issue but turns out it was just a faulty cable. Um, so in theory it's a really simple fix. So currently we are having issues with the display outputs on the LEDs. So each, each input, each output has a set of LEDs which in theory should light up or illuminate in the case that uh, the bit value is positive or one. So we've tried a few things to get the digital input working on the 575. Um, firstly, we tried to connect the direct power to each individual terminal and in theory this would normally work but there appears to be either a configuration issue or a fault with the RTU. Okay, so the next step to resolve uh, the issue I'm having here is probably to consult a senior engineer and hopefully he's able to give some input into what I did wrong or if it's a hardware issue. Uh, hi everyone, so Finn just uh, asking a question about the RTU575. Uh, there is an issue with the RTU575 uh, is a physical input and output and for some reasons the input and output is not working. So let's have a look at the RT a little bit more closely. So this is the RT575 and we got a set of onboard IOs together with the communication ports. When we inject 24 volts into one of the channels, we would see the LED lights is lit on, so switch on in another word. But in this particular case, when we put a 24 volt across the, any of the digital input channel and the common, there is no LED EV light is lit on. So that indicates to me there's, there could be some physical issue with, it, with this particular RTU. So the next step I recommend to Finn is to take it to our warehouse and swap it out with another RTU575 and test it out to establish our presumption that still there will be some hardware problem with RTU. 
Yeah, so I spoke to Richard and we did some hardware testing on the 575 RTU. And we tested a few different ribbon cables and uh, different I.O. boards. But unfortunately, it didn't really change too much. So we thought it was an actual board problem. But it turns out uh, we actually did a, a firmware update and that seemed to have solved the problem. So it's not always the configuration issues. It can also be hardware issues. I think there's a really good, um, I think the method methodology behind it is really important and how we go about debugging a system. So I think as long as you persevere, we, I think we will get there, no worries. Yeah, so this is the RTU that we had issues with. And basically it's just the IO lights up here didn't turn on. Um, but turns out the firmware update that we did on it seems to have solved the issue. And it turns out it wasn't actually a hardware issue at all. Um, so now if we switch on these lights, we can see down here, it turns on, it turns on, and everything works. So problem solved, and now it's time to program the RTU. Hi, uh, uh, audience, friends, and uh, fellow engineers. Throughout this exercise, yesterday and today, we've discovered issues we resolved the issue of the heart of the RTU scatter pack 575 and we've exercised our engineering the fundamental troubleshooting skills for our young engineers and also this is an opportunity for them to learn about persistent persevering in their troubleshooting exercise at the end by resolving the issue we also build up their confidence to become a great engineer for the company and for our community. Friends, fellow engineers, if you want to hear more about us, want to hear, follow through how this project is going, how the work that we're doing, please subscribe and keep following us so you can enjoy watching the next video. Thanks very much. I'll talk to you next time.